Hello everyone, welcome to Anecdotes. Today I'm going to teach you about banting. Now, December has come and gone. You said, never mind, I will eat what I want, it's Christmas. Then you said, never mind, I'll eat what I want because it's New Year. And between that, you still eat what you want. And then you said, no, I will start in January. Now it is January, you signed up to Virgin Active, you're paying 600 rand a month for I don't know what, because you and I know that you are not going to go. So, what can you do to lose weight to stick to your New Year's resolution? Because I know after one week you haven't started your diet yet. So, today I started my diet and you must start your diet. So, this Tim Noakes low carb, high fat diet, what is it? It's basically saying, carbs are bad, fats are good. And I know, right? Fats, good. Apparently they are though. And I'll tell you why. So, carbs. The things we must stay away from. What are carbs? Sugars and starches. Those are your two carbs. Now sugars, we can guess what those are. Your actual sugar, your sweets, your chocolates. And anything that is sweet. But it also includes a lot of your fruit. Any fruit that is sweet. So that's quite a tricky situation. Second category are your starches. Your rice, your potatoes, your chub rolls, your rotis, your pastas. Oh, covered in white sauce. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So all those, those beautiful starchy buttered bread, toasted wood. Oh, okay. So all of those lovely, lovely things are carbs. And those are the things we should be staying away from. How far away? Tim Noakes says less than 50 grams a day. I say less than 30 grams a day. And you can decide how much you want to, but I believe that 30 grams is the right dose. Now to, just, to put into perspective what that is, a small apple, like such, that's about 25 grams. And a single slice of bread is also about 25 grams. And if you're sticking to less than 30 grams a day, you can't eat anything. Any bread, actually. Brown bread, holy bread, dry bread, any other fancy bread that you're paying too much for. You can't eat those things. So, no breads, no carbs, and no sweet fruit. So what can you eat? Your fats and your proteins. So now, how does it work? So let me explain to you very simply. Your body, can you see my picture? You can see my picture. So your body has three fuel sources. Carbs, fats, and proteins. Now, when we eat normally, we, out, we go and we order a chip roll. Now, we eat that chip roll. It's a good chip roll. You put extra sauce on it. You smother it. You squash it and you eat it. Then, when you, for the rest of the day, that's your fuel source. Those are your carbs. And then your body uses those carbs. And whatever it doesn't use, it gets converted to fat. And once it gets converted to fat, it stays on you. And then you get fat. And that's how you get fat from the chip roll. The evil, evil chip roll. So, how does banting work? It cuts out your carbs and it leaves you with fat and protein. Most diets cut out the first two categories. They cut out your carbs and your fats and leave you with only one fuel source, your proteins. Now, what does this mean? It means that you're hungry the whole day, you get headaches the whole day, you crabby the whole day, and then it uses a protein as your fuel source. And when it doesn't have protein, it means that you, it breaks down your muscles to get that fuel source, which is not good. So what happens with, with banting? You cut out the carbs and now you have two fuel sources left, your fats and your proteins. And this means that your main fuel source is your fat. So if your body is eating fat and it runs out of fat that you're eating, it goes to your natural fat stores and it breaks those down. It goes into your bum and uses your bum as a fuel source. And that's how you lose weight on venting. That process is called 
ketosis. Ketosis is the breakdown of fat to be used as energy for your body. And that's basically what it is. It's quite simple to understand. Really. Now, there's a lot of controversies about it. The main thing is about the cholesterol level in your body. And what we've been taught at med school is that if you eat fat, your cholesterol rises, and that causes blockages in your arteries, and that causes heart attacks and strokes and all sorts of complications. But there have been articles which have disputed this theory. And for me, I suggest if you are healthy, try banting with the doctor's advice and with your own doctor's advice, but monitor your own cholesterol. Do your blood test before you start and do it while you are banting as well. Personally, my good cholesterol increased and my bad cholesterol decreased and that's what you want. Um, also, monitor your glucose if you're pre-diabetic and I know that people who were diabetic aren't diabetic anymore. And, you know, that's brilliant. That is really, really brilliant. Um, so there's many success stories. I, I've read magazine articles and newspaper articles about people who lost 30, 40, 50 kgs on this diet and it's, it really is something that, that's brilliant and, and is changing South Africa. Is it sustainable though? It's not if you're doing it wrong. It's not if you don't know what you're doing or how to do it or if you're just making yourself miserable. But if you watch my videos, I'll teach you how to do it for free. <laughs> And I will also teach you about carb cycling, how to start banting, how to bant when you're living a busy lifestyle, and anything else you need to know, little tricks and, and 